Hello and welcome back to Rihanna Runs a Marathon. Today we're in a slightly different place, we're in the kitchen as I'm going to go through a few of the things that I've kind of purchased to help with my nutrition whilst I'm shooting to get that marathon. Nothing that I've purchased is necessarily required to run a marathon and I'm definitely one of those people that doesn't really eat while I'm on the run so it, I find nutrition is probably going to be the hardest thing for me I think training to run a longer distance is going to be fine it's going to be getting in that fuel in order to actually do the running if that makes sense <laughs> so one of the first things that i kind of look towards getting when i'm doing longer runs is some kind of like electrolyte drink i've never really found one that i like so i usually buy different flavors every single time i purchase one of these and this time i've picked up this high five these high five tablets and they, you literally, you get one of the tablets, let's get it out, you get one of the tablets and you pop them into a drink and it's supposed to be for a 750 milliliter bottle. I don't have a 750 milliliter bottle though, <laughs> so I tend to just put these in my soft flasks that are 500 milliliters. I usually have one plain water and one with an electrolyte in it, so that way I, if I'm kind of feeling a little bit sluggish or that I need a little pick-me-up I go for something like this. They kind of make like water a little bit fizzy which isn't something that I really enjoy too much about these kind of tablets. I think if they made them so they weren't so effervescent I'd prefer it a lot more. But yeah they they kind of they give you magnesium and potassium which obviously comes out in your sweat when you're working hard. And yeah I've tried this flavour once, I tried it while I was cycling on the bike last week and I bought the cher orange and cherry this time and I think it was just a little bit weak. I would much prefer it to be a lot stronger uh, but that's normally what they're like, they're normally a little bit weak. I've never really found one that is super super strong, which I would definitely prefer because <laughs> I, I normally drink water pretty much all day and so if I'm having something that like doesn't quite taste like water and is supposed to taste like something else, it just feels like why? So I would prefer these to be stronger, but they're what we've got at the moment. Next up, I've also got something else for on the run, and that is this pack of Tailwind Nutrition. So this is just a sample pack. I got the caffeine free starter pack um, because I'm not really one to have coffee or anything like that. So I don't want to start putting in caffeine when I'm not really used to it. I think that's probably gonna be worse than just going with the caffeine free. So this has four different flavours in it. I've managed to pick out three of them. <laughs> Let me find the other one. There we go. So it gives you a lemon flavour, a berry flavour, an orange flavour, and one that's unflavoured. So they call it their naked flavour. And these, from what I can tell, is they're effectively one of these. So they give you back all your electrolytes but they're also a food supplement. So they will give you 200 calories for every single one of these, which is quite a lot, especially if you're just, this is powder, by the way. So you put it into water and mix it, and then you just drink that, and it will give you 200 calories. So I think that's gonna be possibly one to have for my long runs and try it out and see how it goes. Because whenever I have something that is kind of food-based, I almost instantly just, feel like I need to go to the toilet. So maybe having something that's liquid based might be a little bit better for me. So yeah, there's four things I've not tried yet, so I can't give my opinion on them at all. But if you use Tailwind, let me know how you've got on. I will definitely be trying them out in the next couple of weeks and giving them a go. So I can tell which one's my favorite one and then hopefully purchase more of that. I'm gonna put on the screen, hopefully it's already come up, what the prices are. And so what that kind of gives you per serving, because these were just under £19 and you get eight in there. So I think that makes them quite expensive per turn, which... So 
doesn't make running the cheapest sport, does it? But we'll see how it goes. So that's the two on the run purchases that I've made. The other two purchases I've made are just kind of general nutrition. So partly post-workout and partly just general everyday eating. So the first thing I've picked up is some more clear protein from my protein. Honestly, I really like this stuff. I'm not too into the milky protein shakes. I just, I don't like them. They're just weird, is my opinion of them. And, but these, I can literally, I can down this. I can, I usually make up exactly what it says. I do one scoop for about 350 milliliters. I always make it with cold water. Um, and honestly, it's just really refreshing. I'd much rather have this than a milky one. Usually if I do have any of the kind of milky powder, I put that in smoothies. I haven't tried these in smoothies, not sure how they would go. So my usual flavour is the bitter lemon flavour. And then this time I've branched out and bought a couple more because they had a little bit of an offer on. So I've also bought rainbow candy, which honestly just tastes like you're drinking love hearts. So I know they do another love heart flavoured one, but I think they charge you more for that one. Just buy this one and I think this will go down exactly the same. And then the third flavour I bought was an orange and mango. And this effectively just tastes like tropical squash. So you're not going to really go bad with it unless you don't like oranges or you're allergic. These are all, I think they're all, uh, vegetarian friendly. So if you're a vegetarian, you can have any of these, I think. Do check on that. I'm sure I've seen it on them all. But they also do a vegan version. So if you don't want to be having milk whey, you, they've got a, ve a vegan version. And I've got that one in strawberry and it is really nice. It, does, it doesn't quite taste like strawberry, but it tastes close enough that I don't really care too much. And again, I think those, they have a smaller scoop in those. So I think that is two and a half scoops to the same amount of water, so 350 millilitres. And it just depends your preference, I reckon. These are a little less expensive. So if you are on a budget and you're not, you don't really have any dietary requirements, take a look at these. These are about 20 pounds for one of these. And it says it's got 20 portions in it. So it's about a pound a portion, which like is a lot better than you buying a protein shake. And I think it's a lot better, like nicer. So that's, after i don't have this after every run but i am trying to do, take it more because i know that i'm going to need some protein in order to build up my muscles and my strength a little bit more than i have recently so i think usually i have it about once a month but now i'm trying to have it at least twice a week i just have it when you come in my final part of this haul is probably one of the weirdest things. It isn't really to be running, it's just general health and nutrition. And I've just been trying to eat a little bit better because I found that during the day, I'll either snack on everything or I'll make up loads of stuff and I'll have lots of food waste left over. So to try and tackle that, I've kind of looked into different like food, I, I wanna say supplements, but they're not really, food supplementations, they are still food. It's just a slightly different way. And what I found is Huel. So this is one of their bags. So this is hot Huel. So I like having this at lunch. Um, you literally, it's almost like a really posh pot noodle. So you just put, how I, I usually make up half a portion. So I'll take one of these scoops, put it in a pot, you boil the kettle, you put the amount of water in it, you mix it up and then you leave it for about 10 minutes and then you've got a meal. So this is the flavour that I was going with because it was the best of what they had at that time. But they've just come out with two more, which is part of why I've put them in this fuel because they're brand new flavours. And they've now got sweet and sour and a calmer flavour. So I have actually, I have tried these and <laughs> I couldn't wait. And I, I had this one today and this one I had last week. And this one is definitely gonna be my go-to. It's really, really good. It's 
essentially just sweet and sour and it's got little tiny tiny bits of pineapple in that when you put the water in they kind of rehydrate so you get that little like pop of flavor which is i don't know it just kind of makes it more interesting to eat the the tomato and herb one is fine but it does get a little bit kind of repetitive and a bit stale and sometimes you have more of the tomato powder sometimes you don't so i have actually i've enjoyed both of these so this one tastes like a korma that there is, isn't really much else for me to say. It isn't spicy, it is really coconutty, and it does kind of just taste like you're having corn and rice. And it does actually, yeah, it does have rice in it. So it's got rice, quinoa, and vegetables in it. And these are just such a good way for me to have a balanced diet. So, so each serving of this is 400 calories, if you have a full serving. I usually have half of this and half of the, the drinky one. Um, do we call that cold huel now? I don't know, but the traditional huel. So I have half of this, half of a traditional huel, and that will be my din my lunch. So that's 400 calories. I've also been having the cold huel for breakfast as well, which is definitely a change for my body. <laughs> Normally, I don't have that much in the um, in the morning. So overall, I'm having a pretty balanced diet for at least two meals and then dinner time I always always cook anyway so it's normally whole foods I've cooked it from scratch kind of thing and each of these pretty much has 25 grams of protein in it per portion I think they all slightly differ but they're all about that level and of they've also got 14 grams of fat and 43 grams of carbohydrates so you've already kind of got a really good split of your nutrients, a little bit more protein than you do fat. And they do also do a version that doesn't have as much carbohydrates in it. So if you don't really like carbs that much, you can try their black edition for their, their shaky up huel and see how you go with that. I've been, I was originally just having cold huel and I just kind of found that really repetitive and like I didn't really have much variation, but I really enjoy having these for lunch. They're really quick and easy to do as well so you don't have to think about it and they last about i think it's about a year once you've opened it oh so this says best before 2022 so yeah so about a year which is a lot better than me putting a cucumber in the food waste every single week because i haven't finished it <laughs> so if you're up for a change give these a go they also have lots of vitamins and nutrients in them and i've mainly been using it to help me with my vitamin d levels which aren't too great <laughs> that is my haul of nutrition that i have picked up recently i don't really go too crazy this is about all i'll have and once this has run out i'll look to purchasing more but until that happens this is what i'm eating these ones every day and then this one I'll put in for longer runs. This one also longer runs. And then the protein I'll have at as and when I feel I need it after a run. And yeah, that is it. If there's any nutrition that you've been trying out that you really enjoy, pop it down in the comments below and I will give them a shout out. Well, I'll give them a go next time I need to buy something. If you have any good electrolyte things that possibly don't make the water too fizzy, let me know. If they are strong, even better. Because sometimes I don't feel like I should be using two of these to make it stronger. I feel like sometimes that's a lot. That's a lot of magnesium and potassium to be putting in my body <laughs> that I'm possibly not equipped for. So yeah, if you want to see any more marathon related content, be sure to subscribe. Uh, every week I am posting a weekly update where I just go through my week of training, mainly to keep myself accountable for it and also to give myself a little review of what went well, what didn't go so well. So yeah, subscribe. I'm also on Instagram, which I pretty much always post a picture every time I run, which is, you know, you can look at pretty pictures. <laughs> and good luck on whatever journey you're doing. Let me know if you are doing anything adventurous this year or if you're just running the same routes. That's also good too.